everybody, JC here from Toy News International. And today, this is gonna be a quick news update plus a channel update. So first of all, let me get to the channel update part. This is a busy week. This weekend kicks off Toy Fair in New York City starting on Saturday um, with Hasbro and several other companies, DC Collectibles and, and a few others, Lego and, and such. And that'll go through the weekend, um, basically running through Monday or Tuesday of, of next week. So a lot of information should be coming in the next couple of days. We'll probably see some early reveals. Generally, that's what companies do. They'll put out some teasers and stuff the days leading up to Toy Fair and then um, I will be bringing you live coverage. I'll be there with Shardimus Prime and Pixel Dan. We'll be bringing you news on the websites along with interviews, images, you know, the whole nine yards. So be sure to subscribe to all of our YouTube channels if you're not already. I'll put links in the video description below and then also be sure to check the websites toynewsi.com, tformers.com, marvelousnews.com, and jediinsider.com there are also links to those in the video description below for images and information and everything. And mostly you'll probably be seeing the information on the websites first, and then we'll be getting videos with interviews and things like that up at a later date. So again, starts this weekend, starts this Saturday. I hope you guys are going to tune in. Again, I'm expecting a lot of very cool reveals from all the various companies. You know, they all are there. Mezco, NECA, Hasbro, Mattel, DC Collectibles, you know, pretty much the whole nine yards. So again, be sure to tune in starting this Saturday. Now, also, if you live in New York City and you want to come out on Friday evening, we're looking at about 7 o'clock p.m., Myself, Shardimus Prime, and I believe Pixel Dan will be there as well. We're doing kind of an informal meet and greet at Midtown Comics in Times Square. I am going to try and bring a few things to give away, a couple Marvel Legends stuff um, that, you know, we'll do some giveaways. So, um, but basically, if you just want to come out and meet your favorite YouTubers and such, um, we will be there from se probably 7 to 8 o'clock time frame, uh, just kind of hanging out, looking at comics, looking at toys, things like that. So if you want to come by Midtown Comics, it's, you know, again, on this Friday around 7 o'clock, it's an informal kind of get-together meet and greet and like I said uh, just basically hang out with us for a little while we will be there and 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 look forward to seeing you guys so again Midtown Comics Times Square this Friday starting at seven o'clock okay now on to some news. Now this is unconfirmed by Hasbro. This is basically information that just kind of hit the internet, leaked out on the internet today, and have not gotten this officially confirmed from Hasbro. I feel pretty confident in this information. I actually started hearing rumors about this line uh, last year um, around San Diego Comic-Con time. And I actually, I, I think it was my San Diego Comic-Con interview with Dwight Stahl from, from the Marvel Legend team. Maybe it was Hascon, I, I forget. But if you go back and you look at one of my interview videos uh, with him, I actually kind of tried to ask him a little bit about this. He didn't really give any information, but but had heard rumors about this line. Um, now specifically, it's being dubbed the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe 10th anniversary line. This, is, this uh, year is the 10th year anniversary for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Basically, it was 10 years ago when the first movie, Iron Man, hit theaters. And so we're celebrating 10 years. And this line is basically uh, a line being put out by Hasbro. It's a six-inch Marvel Legend line. And it is to basically celebrate that event. Now, what we are seeing today are images of the Iron Man figure from the first Avengers movie, and this is a modified, I, you know, I think this is a new sculpt. I'm hoping it's a new sculpt. Definitely the, the wing flaps on the back are new. So I, I'm hoping this is a new sculpt. And then also a two pack that's going to give us Captain America, which we've seen before, obviously not a big deal with that. However, I do want to note that it looks like we're going to get our very first ever unmasked Chris Evans head that actually looks like Chris Evans um, from Hasbro. So if at least based on these images, the head sculpt that comes with this figure actually looks like Chris Evans. So I'm hopeful for that. And then the second figure in the two pack is going to include Crossbones. So um, many of you have been wanting a movie cinematic universe version of Crossbones ever since Civil War. And it looks like we're finally getting that. And that's going to have an unmasked head and it's kind of the gauntlets that look like a removable. So those are definitely cool figures that I think fans of the movie, you 
universe are going to be very happy about. Now, back last year, I had heard other rumors. Uh, one of the figure or characters that I heard was up for the figure treatment in this line was Pepper Potts. So that one's to me is not as exciting. Um, uh, you know, it's just kind of, I don't know, kind of plain, especially if we don't get like a Marvel Cinematic Universe vision or Quicksilver in this line. I think a lot of people would be upset if we get Pepper Potts and not those guys. But but that was one that I heard rumored. I, you know, I can't say for sure that that's actually going to happen, but, but that was one of the figures. Yellow Jacket from the first Ant-Man movie, that was another one that I heard rumored. That one probably people would be a little more excited about uh, getting the villain from the Ant-Man movie. Um, those are really the names that I heard tossed around a year ago. And then with these reveals, these images today, um, that's really all I know. I expect to see figures from Captain America and the Avengers movies in this line. There's some uh, UPC numbers floating around that kind of indicate that that's what we're going to primarily be seeing, at least with the first wave. And while I haven't heard him rumored, I can't help but wonder if we'll end up seeing this Trevor slash Mandarin figure from Iron Man 3 that Hasbro showed off back in 2013. Maybe they'll tweak it a little bit, but definitely that head sculpt was pretty nice. So I, I can't help but wonder if we'll end up seeing that figure as well at some point. It is unclear whether we are going to get a Build-A-Figure with this wave. Um, so that's unclear. You know, if it's like the Toy Biz uh, wave last year, you know, there was no Build-A-Figure pieces with that. So I, I wouldn't necessarily assume there'll be a, a Build-A-Figure with this line since it's kind of a special line and not your normal Marvel Legend line. I hope there is. I hope they, they do a Build-A-Figure. I'd love to see something like, you know, the, the Iron Monger from the first Iron Man movie would be a good choice for, for a Build-A-Figure for, for this wave. But again, that's not confirmed. I, I don't know if there'll be a Build-A-Figure. And then I really don't know the other figures. I definitely hope hope we see Quicksilver and Vision. Though I, I will say with Quicksilver, Quicksilver seems like a given because obviously he's dead. He's not in any more movies. So it would be hard to put him in a current line. Vision, you know, you might put in if they're doing a, you know, they're doing a second Avengers themed wave this year. So I could maybe see them putting Vision in that wave since he's in the current movie and everything. So that might be a possibility. I wouldn't be super upset if we don't see Vision in this, this 10th anniversary line. Line. Instead, we see him in like the second wave of Avenger figures. So, you know, only time will sell. But definitely, I hope we see Quicksilver in this in this assortment, and also, um, I don't know, other figures. A movie Red Skull, I think, would be cool. I, w I wouldn't mind seeing a, a, from the first Captain America movie. That would be a good choice. Um, Ronan from the um, Guardians of the Galaxy, but I, I wouldn't s figure they would do that unless, again, we see a Build-A-Figure. You know, characters like Ronan or the Ironmonger from the first Iron Man movie, I would only expect to see in this line if, in fact, it contains a Build-A-Figure piece. So that's something we'll have to wait and see. I am hoping that we get the full details on this line this coming weekend at Toy Fair. Since we're already seeing these images come out, I'm guessing we will, but, you know, only time will tell. So that's the big news for today. Again, I hope you guys be sure to tune in uh, for uh, all the Toy Fair coverage this weekend to the websites, to my YouTube channel, to Shardimus Prime's YouTube channel, to Pixel Dan's YouTube channel. Those guys will be bringing you interviews with many of your favorites like Randy Fox from NECA Toys. And, and I don't know if we'll get review or interviews with the Hasbro folks this at Toy Fair. A lot of times at Toy Fair with Hasbro, it's like it's so busy and hectic and we only have a few hours that it's hard to do the interviews but hopefully we'll get some interviews with those guys and then the folks from mezco and and pretty much all the other companies so that'll be coming out over the course of the weekend and into next week so again be sure to tune in for that also i will be finishing up my uh reviews of the marvel cinematic uh, Universe Avengers wave. Um, I've got uh, Spider-Man, Iron Spider-Man coming up today. Later today, I'll be posting that review. And then tomorrow, I will be posting my review of the Avengers Infinity War Thanos figure. I've already posted reviews of all the other figures in that wave. I hope you guys have checked those out. And then it... 
if timing is right, I, I'm going to be obviously leaving for New York City here at the end of the week, but I am expecting to have in hand the Deadpool wave with the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure. And if I get those early enough that I am hoping to be able to get some reviews of those uh, put together before I leave so that I can start posting those up, you know, basically over the course of, of the weekend and into next week as well. So um, beyond, besides Toy Fair coverage, I'm hoping to also be able to post some reviews of the Deadpool wave. If I don't get them up or if I don't, you know, get them in time to get start getting them done before I leave, then definitely I will be starting my reviews of the Deadpool wave uh, as soon as I get back from New York City. So uh, if not this weekend into early next week, definitely look for reviews of those starting mid next week when I get back. Okay, so that's it for the channel update. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What are you looking forward to seeing at Toy Fair this year? What do you think about this new Marvel Cinematic Universe line? You know, let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And also uh, like the video if you're so inclined. And again, if you're in New York City, if you live in New York City and you've got nothing going on this coming Friday evening, come out to uh, Midtown Comics and like I said, we'll be doing that informal meet and greet. My, I know it'll be myself and Shardimus Prime. Pixel Dan said he would probably try and be there, but a little bit will be on timing on when he arrives in New York City. So I, I won't say 100% the Pixel Dan will be there, but definitely me and Shardimus will be there. And we, we look forward to seeing you guys. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.